Historically, students with disabilities have had limited access to math curriculum that their peers experience in general education settings. Our special educators had been left to fend for themselves by trying to cobble together math activities or having to use cross-content programs that only touch on math concepts. Once Equals launched in 2009, those days of using outdated methodologies or placing hope in theme-based activities were over. Equals was developed using a research foundation from a collection of sources, including the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. Development also included current best practice in math instruction, wedding those concepts with proven instructional strategies and flexible approaches to support students with disabilities. AbleNet was the first company to recognize the importance of bringing together decades of research, informing best practice math instruction for general education students, and pairing that with teaching strategies for students with disabilities. This approach is the foundation of Equals Mathematics. The results of that unique approach have been outstanding as demonstrated in the independent case study completed by a suburban special education school district in the Midwest. This school district focused on charting the progress their students made during the first year, second year, and third year of instruction. The process for the study included conducting the equals assessment to ensure each student had a learning roadmap, a starting point for instruction. The equals assessment is unique in that it provides a way for all students to respond, regardless of verbal ability or motor skills. Students were organized by their assessment scores so that collaboration among peers could be encouraged. Teachers would begin teaching using the starting point recommended, and they would provide math instruction for 40 minutes each day to groups of 3 to 8 students. The first year study included 72 students, ages 5 through 14, with 21 participating teachers. The disabilities of the participating students included cognitive disabilities, mild, moderate, and severe, autism, emotional disorders, multiple disabilities, and health impairments. The Equals post-assessment analysis indicated that every one of the 72 students who completed the year demonstrated progress. No student regressed. What was even more powerful was the extent for which the students showed progress compared to their pre-assessment results. The 72 students demonstrated an average gain in math skills of 38% across all student groups. The same approach was replicated for year 2 and year 3. Students were tested in May using the Equals Assessment Protocol. May scores were compared to the previous May scores to determine the level of progress for each participating student. Of the 72 students who started using Equals in 2011, 43 have continued to participate for three consecutive years. For the third consecutive year, every student in the project demonstrated progress in math. Students participating for three years in the study demonstrated an average gain of 112% over the baseline recorded in September of 2011. The case study continues each year at this school district in an effort to provide longitudinal